Hi, this is Brandon from Aramax. Today we're performing the recommended maintenance on an RP50 half horsepower dual piston compressor. The tools we'll be using today to repair this unit are a 5 8 wrench, 12 millimeter wrench, 5 30 second Allen wrench, eighth inch Allen wrench, quarter inch Allen wrench, small pick tool, Teflon or thread sealant, including your maintenance kit are, two cylinder sleeves, two piston cups, two cylinder O-rings, two head O-rings, four tube O-rings, two valve plates with pre-installed leaf valves. Eight screws are included with this kit, but the four with a Torx head you will not be using. First, remove the air filter from the valve plate using a 5 8 inch wrench. Ensure to take note of where the air filter is installed on the valve plate. Next, remove the two quarter inch pipe plugs using a quarter inch Allen wrench, also noting where they are installed on the valve plate. Then use a 5 30 second Allen wrench to remove the two screws holding down the manifold. Remove and save the two bushings underneath the manifold. Now, remove the brass 90 degree fitting from the valve plate using a 12 millimeter wrench. Next, use a 5 30 second Allen wrench to remove the remaining six screws on the top of the head assembly. Now, remove the head assembly and set to the side. Separate the heads from the head assembly. Take note of the positions of the valve plates. Starting with one side of the head assembly, bring in the new valve plate from the maintenance kit, ensuring that you have the correct side. Next, separate the old valve plates from the valve tubes. Remove the tube O-rings with a small pick tool and install the new ones from the maintenance kit. Now, firmly place the new valve plate onto the valve tubes. Repeat this process for the second valve plate. Separate the old valve plates from the valve tubes. Remove the two O-rings with a small pick tool and then replace with the new ones. Install the new valve plate. Starting with one cylinder, use an 8 inch Allen wrench to remove the two set screws on the piston cup. Next, remove the cylinder sleeve. Remove and discard the worn piston cup and install the new one from the maintenance kit. Next, firmly push the piston cup into the cylinder sleeve. Flip over to ensure the piston cup is evenly aligned. Reinstall the cylinder sleeve onto the piston and line up the holes. Use two new screws supplied with your maintenance kit to reinstall your piston cup. Repeat this process for the second cylinder. Remove the two set screws on the piston. Remove the cylinder and piston cup and apply new ones. Firmly push the piston cup into the cylinder sleeve and ensure even alignment. Reinstall the cylinder onto the piston using two new screws supplied with the kit. Next, install the two new cylinder O-rings from the maintenance kit onto the bottom of the valve plate. Next, reinstall the brass 90 degree fitting attached to the manifold holes. It is recommended to use Teflon tape or thread sealant when reinstalling. Ensure to install in the correct valve plate hole. Turn the assembled valve plates onto the fittings until snug. Do not over tighten.
Flip the valve plate back onto the cylinder sleeves, ensuring the leaf valves are pointing away from the capacitor. Push down firmly to secure into place. Then install the two new head O-rings from the maintenance kit onto the top of the valve plate. Next, align the head covers on top of the valve plates. Match the grooves in the head to the grooves in the valve plate. Not doing so will damage the leaf valves. Now install the six cap screws to secure the head covers on the valve plates. Leave the inner two screw holes open. Tighten down using a 532nd Allen wrench. We recommend going back and forth between screws to ensure the screws are securely in place. Be sure not to over tighten. Reapply the two bushings onto the two remaining holes in the head assembly. Reinstall the manifold using the two remaining screws. Tighten down using a 532nd Allen wrench. Be sure to go back and forth to ensure screws are securely in place. Now reinstall the two quarter inch pipe plugs with a quarter inch Allen wrench. It's important the plugs are reinstalled in their original valve plate holes. Then reinstall the air filter onto the last valve plate hole using a 5 8 inch wrench. This completes the maintenance of your RP50 compressor. At this time, we recommend changing your air filter. Simply hold the base of the air filter and turn the top clockwise to remove the cap. Replace the old air filter with a new one. This should be done every three to six months. For more information, contact your local dealer or visit us online at airmaxeco.com.